Polls have been closed in Israel's parliamentary elections, with exit polls showing Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party and the centre-left Zionist Union in a virtual deadlock. Israel's Channel 1 and Channel 10 exit poll gave Likud and Zionist Union 27 seats each in the 120-member parliament. Meanwhile, Channel 2's exit polls put Likud at 28 seats and the Zionist Union at 27 seats. Final results were not expected until early on Wednesday morning. Netanyahu was quick to declare victory in tight race which was seen as a referendum on his leadership. In a statement released on Twitter, Netanyahu said that against all odds his Likud party and the nationalist camp secured a great victory. Arab Surge the main Arab parties took third place with 13 seats after joining forces to challenge the Prime Minister, who on the eve of election had ruled out the establishment of a Palestinian state. Ayman Oday, head of the Arab Joint List, said it was a historic day for Israel's Arab minority because it would have a greater influence in Parliament. I voted for the Arab List because solidarity between Jews and Arabs is important for me, said Karin Michael, a 40-year-old book publisher in Tel Aviv. Netanyahu, 65, had lagged behind the centre-left Zionist Union led by Isaac Herzog in surveys ahead of the vote. But the Likud leader enjoyed a surge after a last-minute appeal to his supporters to go to the polls to counter a high turnout among Arab Israelis. About 6 million Israelis were eligible to take part in the vote on Tuesday. As of 6 p.m. local time, voter turnout was at 54.6%. Slightly less than during the 2013 elections according to the Israeli daily Haaretz. Earlier on Tuesday, Israel's electoral authorities blocked the broadcast of a press conference by Netanyahu as voters went to the polls, saying that propaganda was banned on election day. Netanyahu responded furiously in a video posted on Facebook. All the politicians are speaking to the press today, and it was blatant election propaganda, he said. National elections are held every four years, unless Israel's parliament, the Neset, votes to dissolve the government and hold new elections. The snap general election was necessitated after Netanyahu fired Tsipi Livni, the justice minister, and Yair Lapid, the finance minister in December.